The first two lectures gave you an idea of what TLA Plus is all about. This lecture tells you about the resources available to help you learn TLA Plus and introduces you to the TLA Plus tools. You will download the toolbox and start learning to use the TLC model checker. TLA Plus resources. The TLA Plus homepage. Search the web for TLA homepage to find a link to the TLA homepage. For now, Think of TLA as shorthand for TLA+. Going to the Resources for Learning About TLA section gets you here. The TLA Plus book is a useful reference, but it was written before the toolbox was implemented. The summary of the TLA Plus language is a useful cheat sheet. After watching the video, you should download and print it. Most of the TLA Plus documentation consists of PDF documents. If your computer doesn't already have a PDF reader, you should install one. Adobe Acrobat Reader is the most popular one. On the TLA homepage, go to the TLA Plus Google Group section. The TLA Plus Google Group is a place to find out what's happening in the TLA Plus community and ask other users for help if you have a problem. Join the group. Downloading the Toolbox. The Toolbox is the integrated development environment used to create specs and run tools on them. You will now download it, which involves installing Java if it's not already on your computer, downloading a zip file and extracting its files, installing LaTeX, or LaTeX if you prefer, which is required by the Pretty Printer. Stop the video now and follow the instructions. I will now start showing you how to use the toolbox. You should do yourself what I do in the video, stopping the video when you need to. Begin by starting the toolbox now. If you encounter a problem, check the If Something Goes Wrong section of the downloading instructions. If you can't solve the problem, try the TLA Plus Google Group. Creating a specification. When you start the toolbox for the first time, it should look something like this. It looks a little different on different operating systems. Since this is the first time you've used the toolbox, you should open the Getting Started Guide but you can do that later. Instead, we'll create the simple program spec from the last lecture. We click on File, then Open Spec, then Add New Spec. I'll browse to an empty folder that I've created. We enter Simple Program as the file name. Then click on Open and Finish. Let's get rid of this Spec Explorer menu. The spec begins with this module line and ends with this line of equal signs. The body of the spec goes here. Anything else in the file, such as the modification history, is ignored. To save you some typing, you can now stop the video and copy the body of the specification. Now let's paste it into the module using your operating system's paste command. And let's save the spec. You can do that from the file menu, but it's easier to just type Control S. This box should now be green indicating that the spec has been parsed. Let's now check that the Pretty Printer is working. On the File menu, select Produce PDF Version, or use the keyboard shortcut. Most windows in the toolbox can be moved by clicking on the tab and putting them there where you want. Outside the toolbox window, 
or inside it. We'll work from the ASCII version. Let's now see that the TLC model checker is working. The model checker is run on a model. Let's now construct a model for this spec. On the TLC model checker menu, select new model. We can give it any name we want, but model one will do. Our specification consists of two formulas, the initial formula and the next state formula. Later we'll see how we can write the spec as a single temporal formula. We specify those here. If the module defines the formulas init and next, the toolbox fills in those names for us. That's all we need to specify for our model. We can run TLC and it will compute all possible behaviors allowed by the spec. We do that by clicking on this green arrow. TLC reports the error deadlock reached and it shows an error trace, a behavior that shows the error. Let's examine the error trace. We'll need to give ourselves more room. It is a sequence of three states. State 1 has i equal to 0 and pc equal to the string start. In state 2, i equals 0 and pc equals middle. And state 3 has i equal 1 and pc equal done. Why does TLC say that deadlock was reached when the behavior stops in a terminating state like it's supposed to? Deadlock means that an execution stopped when it wasn't supposed to. Termination means that an execution stopped when it was supposed to. There's nothing in this spec that says whether or not the spec is supposed to stop. Since most systems aren't supposed to stop, the default is for TLC to regard stopping as deadlock. We can change that default in the model. Notice that a model consists of three pages, overview, advanced options, and results. On the model overview page, we go down to here and we unclick the deadlock box. Now when we run TLC, it finds no errors. Let's close the spec for now. You can reopen it by right-clicking or double-clicking here. But before doing that, you really should read the Getting Started Guide. This is just a brief introduction to TLC. I'll have a lot more to say about it later. The TLA Plus Proof System. TLA Plus has constructs for writing theorems and formal proofs of those theorems. TLAPS, the TLA Plus proof system, is a tool for checking those proofs. It can be run from the toolbox. TLAPS can check proofs of correctness of real publishable algorithms, but it will be used by few engineers. Perhaps a future video will describe how to write and check proofs. The Unicode option. I've found that most engineers prefer the ASCII version of their specs. I use the pre-printed version only for publication. But some people would prefer to see this set membership symbol rather than backslash IN when writing specs. We intend to make them happy. We plan to provide the toolbox's module editor with an option to display symbols as Unicode characters rather than as ASCII strings. Check the TLA Plus documentation or the TLA Plus Google group or the toolbox's help pages to see if it's there and how to use it if it is. Help! Clicking on Getting Started 
opens the toolbox's help view on the Getting Started page. The first subtopic tells you how to use help. Read it. The toolbox has quite a few useful features that you won't discover by yourself. I know you want to start writing specs, not reading help pages. But read the Getting Started section before going on to the next video. And every now and then, take time out from specifying to browse through the other sections. Now that you've installed the toolbox and TLC, we can start having fun. In the next lecture, we'll play the roles of Bruce Willis and Samuel L. Jackson in the 1995 action movie Die Hard 3. But we get to use a weapon that they didn't have. POW! The TLC model checker.